Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, I want to quickly look at uh, some one particular topic that is about the reader role versus the contributor role and owner role. So those are the three major RBAC type roles that, that are available within Azure. There are many more, but those three are something that you know you should have a very good understanding. Owner and contributor, they pretty much most of the time got the very similar power except the owner one they can create and assign roles to other users where the contributor cannot and the reader reader role you really don't have any any option to do anything much other than just reading wherever you have given access to so say for example you want a developers to give access to logic apps and you want to make sure the developers can create uh, logic apps in your Azure environment like what permission do you think they might need so let's uh, go over here I have one user Isabella Garcia and really this person doesn't have any any roles okay so what we want to do we want to provide this person some roles so let's uh, uh, over here let's go to uh, I think Active Directory should be good from here roles and administration you can go and where we want to start is the say logic there's nothing like logic app in here so I'm just trying to see how many roles are uh, contributor roles so it's from not inside here office app administrator compliance so where do we need to go so let's go to logic app okay I do not have a logic app right now mm, let's go to the subscription okay subscriptions in this subscription let's uh, go to the IAM blade in this blade you look for role assignments role contributors let's see let's do add no that's not add is not what you need uh, roles in here I bet that you have the logic operator is going to come up okay logic All right so if I do logic I really I see that I have two different roles one is the logic app contributor and another is the logic operator role um, if you want to look at the permissions let's say let's you want to look at the logic logic app contributor permissions so if you click on it it's telling you what kind of permissions you have contributor has permission to Microsoft logic all of it uh, for some they have partial permissions available uh, so let's go back and uh, if I assign the logic app contributor so let's select this one more time uh, is there anything that I need to do add role assignments 
So from here, I'm going to choose the logic app contributor and I'm going to assign this to Isabella. Okay, and then say save. So now I have added this role to Isabella. So kind of remember, it could be a little bit confusing at the beginning with. So to assign this particular role, I had to go to the subscription level, go to the IAM blade, which is identity, identity access management. Then I was able to assign the role. Now I have logged in as, as Isabella over here, just to be sure I'm going to sign out and re-log in as Isabella one more time. Okay. And that should give me um our all the rules that i have so let's click so now if i click on subscription it probably should say something yeah so it's saying that i have access to the subscription and what so here so i have insufficient privilege so i cannot see the billing data but what about logic apps so let's click on the logic app so so i do have access to logic app and i am logged in as isabella can i create a logic app so let's try let's try to hit on new logic app and uh, let's create a resource group test la so i do not have access to create even a, a resource group so let's use an existing one let's use one of them logic app name test la so looks like that i can do location doesn't matter i don't care log analytics so i just want to see that if i can even create if i have enough permission as a logic app contributor and now i'm submitting the deployment and there we go so so as a logic app contributor i am successfully deployed a logic app now let's go back over here so what we want to do this time we want to go back over here role assignments okay and i want to get rid of this logic app operator role assignment from miss uh, gabriela and make her uh, something else give her the operator role okay so next we can go back to the subscription i am and uh, rule assignments let's look at again one more time uh, here and i'm gonna say remove so that should remove this particular rule assignment and what i'm gonna do uh, i'm gonna add another rule assignment i'm gonna choose this time uh, which role do we want we want uh, logic app operator role and this time on the same person and I'm gonna say save so this should give Isabella as a logic app operator role this time so let's go back to a private window and uh, I'm still logged in so I just need to log out just to make sure that I have the new role properly assigned and, in, and enforced so so now I'm logged I'm logging back in and this time I have uh, lost my permission as a contributor, but I still have access as a um, as operator. So it looks like I can still open up the logic app. I still have access, and can I operate on it? Looks like I can. Uh, can I type something? I can. Can I add click stuff? Add new stuff? So I can still do a lot of stuff here as a as an operator. But let's go back to home and let's go, go back to logic operator. And what I'm gonna do, let's see. So I don't even have access to the logic operator, okay? So that is the difference, okay? So if I try to go to even the overview blade where you create your logic apps, it's telling me, buddy, Isabella, you do not have access to the logic app where you can perform create delete and that kind of operations but but you do have access to that particular logic app and you can do anything you want with it 
but you just won't be able to create anything so in other words if you want a developer or a person to be able to create logic apps you gotta give that person at least the logic app contributor role and if you just want that person to only operate and work with the existing logic apps and not give that person any more access to create new logic apps then you should give them logic app operator or back row hope that video is clear and you understand the difference between the operator and the contributor and hope it's going to help you in understanding how our back rules work within a show. Thank you.